hi guys good morning um so um this is a brief tutorial on how to collaborate and send in your scripts to the repository right so first things first this repo i'm using is a dummy repo and don't come and copy the link here and work with this repository as soon as the video drops i'll be sending the link to the repository we'll be using right okay so um when I send the link, you get to a page, and this is the first thing you see. You see the page like this. So what you want to do first is um, you want to fork this repo to your own account. So right. So we do this, and you can see that I'm forking this to my own account. So right. Alright now, so as you can see, you can see this here, you can see forked from this. So this is my own account now, this is my own copy. You can see this branch is even with this, this is where we are forking from, right? So what you want to do is, you want to get your files into the scripts folder here. So after you forked, what you, come, what you do next is you clone. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the link here, right? And then I open my github folder here right and so okay let me expand this for us to see well so next thing i do is i do git clone and i paste the link that i copied right and so i'm cloning it i'm cloning the forked report to my computer right now so the cloning is done. So um, if I go ahead into the folder, I can see this is this here. So you can see this is how the folder structure will be once you clone it to your computer. So I can decide to open this in code. All right. So um file open so I just navigate to GitHub and I open that folder. Right. So what I want to do is in the scripts file, in the scripts folder, I want to add my own scripts. So I add my own scripts to the scripts folder. So I can say let's say hng dash dot js right and i can say console the log my name is tamiwa but of course you'll be typing you'll be sending in your scripts to produce the um to return the outputs that mark said we should do i save right so as you can see you can see here that there are new files to be committed right now what I now do is, if we are to go back to, if we are to go back to the page. You can see that there are instructions here. So we followed one. We already forked the repo. We already cloned to our computer, and we've added our script folder already. You know, mine was .js. Now, after I've added it, I need to open the repository I cloned to my computer. I need to open it in my terminal, so I can go ahead and do that right and this is this is this right so um the instruction here says that i should git check out this so what this is basically doing is just that it's creating a new branch in my own repository so i do git check out b right hng dash zero 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 two zero or let me just use a random number zero 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 three nine zero right and i do that so you can see that it says switch to a new branch and i'm on that branch right here right now so what i need to do is what i need to do next is if if i do git status 
can see that I have a file waiting to be committed. So I do git add, right? I can run git status again, right? So the next thing is to commit. So I do git commit. Testing, testing. But of course, I already gave a message on how, on what your commit message should be, right? So um, I do this. I can run git status again. So um, I need to push the files, right? So I do git push origin. Now we are working on this branch here. So that'd be hng dash zero 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 three nine zero, right? Okay. So you can see that I finished pushing to the repository to the new branch I created. So if I come back to my own forked repository, you can see here that I recently pushed this branch here I mean if you come here you can see this here I can, if you see the change if you open if you open the scripts folder you see that this is the only thing that has been changed here now what I want to do after I have pushed to my own repo that I forked is from here now I want to you need to go to the branch the new branch that you created so I want to create a new pull request right so the pull request i'm making is you can see from base repository right this is to base you can see that this is to, this is where i'm clearly i'm requesting to pull my files to and this is from where i am right so be sure that the branch you're on is the new branch as you can see it's hng that i created here now if you are pushing to the Place you forked from, right? You want to be sure that the the place you're um, pushing to is the requesting to pull is master. In our own case, our default um, our default branch is not master. Our default branch is develop. So what you'll be having here is develop. So from your own branch to develop, right? So next thing I I mean I can type anything i want tomorrow requesting to do this to do that but basically what i just need to do is create a pull request right so once the pull request is created all that is left is for me to accept it and merge it and automatically your request is your um, script is added to the repository I hope it's clear enough. If there are any issues, please feel free to ask in a thread. Thank you.